Hi guys! Oh, I'm a bit late. Rafa has been waiting for me. Nice to have you back. Just a minute. Just a minute. I have to take off my coat first to get ready. Okay, welcome back to YouTube. Nice to have you all on board. And Rafa, what was the topic today again? There was an inquiry. What is the difference between R and is? Difference between R and is. Okay, very easy baby. Okay. Okay, let's look at the infinitive. Okay, the infinitive is to be. This is the word you will find in the dictionary. Okay, so, but the easy part is following the, again, just like with do does, he, she, it. Let's call him Tom. Let's call her Helen. And this is our camera. Because remember, all things are an it in English. So, now, if we want to speak perfect English, uh, you look up in the dictionary to be, and you know what it means in your language, okay? Now we section up. We say, Tom, Helen, the camera, right? All this you have to combine plus is. Very easy, right? So, and then we say, Helen is pretty. You see, she is pretty. I can say, Tom is, Tom is clever. Helen is, is clever too. But it's just my example. Helen is pretty and clever. You can say Helen is pretty and clever and super intelligent. Whatever you want to say, it still stays is our camera oopsie our camera what is our camera our camera is good modern modern yeah that's it is modern our camera you see it is modern our camera is modern all is super easy. Okay, now how do we make questions? I tell you what, it's so easy. You see, it is so easy. You could ask me, is it easy? I say, yeah, it is easy. You see, so I simply go crisscross. I ask, is Helen? Is Helen pretty? Yes, Helen is pretty. I can say, Obla. is Tom clever? Is Tom clever? Yes, Tom is clever. Is our, I shortened that, camera modern? Is our camera modern? Yes, our camera is modern. You see, it's very easy. Now, with all these questions, of course, you will have to say no, maybe. Hmm? So, let's just imagine we're saying no now. So, I say, is Helen pretty? Then I say, no, she isn't. Pretty. Guess what? Is Tom clever? No. He? Right. Isn't. Clever. Is our camera modern? No. Right. It 
isn't modern. So you see, you take he, she, it. Helen is pretty. Question, is Helen pretty? And the negative, no, Helen isn't pretty. This isn't is a short form of is not. But we are a bit lazy in English, so we simply say isn't. So you see, when I take the short form or the abbreviation we call it in English, isn't actually means is not. But we don't like making a drama, we don't like to overemphasize. We simply say isn't for is not. Okay? So now I need to wipe this. Now we're planning on making a YouTube video about open questions. With open questions, you need to give away real information, clear information, because in an open question, you use all the question words. Or in grammar, it's called interrogatives. So, for example, who, what, why, when, these all are four examples, uh, for example, uh, uh, interrogatives or question words. Now, how do I ask an open question with interrogatives? Like here, we are going to produce a video next week about that. Come and watch us. So, for now, I would like to continue with R. Very simple. You know the pronoun we, you, they. These are the pronouns that belong to the family where you use are. For example, Tom and Helen are Tom and Helen are intelligent. That is they. Okay, I'm starting at the end, but you see there are two people and there the pronoun is they. That's the most complicated thing about the R, okay? Now, let me continue. I can also say, because you're watching this video, you are intelligent. You see, all people who want to learn, they're intelligent. All people who are inquisitive, who want to learn new things, they're all intelligent. So, and then, of course, you and I and Rafa, we are intelligent because we all love learning new things. You see? And this is why I say we are intelligent. Now, let me ask you this. Guess, how can we make a question now with we? Guess what? Are you intelligent? Are we intelligent? Are they intelligent? Now, is that difficult? No, it's not. All you do is, just like with this, you say, you are intelligent for the question, are you intelligent? We are intelligent, question, are we intelligent? They are intelligent, question, are they intelligent? It's the same thing, you only switch. That's all there's to it. So, let me show you how to make here the negative. So, let's 
say we have here the question about Tom and Helen. We say, are Tom and Helen intelligent? You know the crisscross. Tom and Helen are intelligent, and the question, are Tom and Helen intelligent? All the same. So now we're making the negative. No. Tom and Helen aren't intelligent. All people with the name Tom and Helen, I'm sorry, it's just an example, okay? So, what do we have here again? Uh, you see, here we say Helen, no, Helen, no, she, scheiße. Here, it's the same thing with isn't. We have no, she isn't pretty. And here, no, we aren't, or they aren't intelligent. Now, the aren't, again, is an abbreviation. That's a grammar word for to make something shorter. Are not. The aren't means are not intelligent. It's a negative form, but just like with the isn't, we make it shorter to make it easier on ourselves. So now you probably are asking me now, what about I? Well, I is the only exception. Let me show you. So, we have just learned he, she, it, plus is, or negative isn't. We, you, they, are, and the negative, aren't. Okay? Very easy. Now, why am I taking the I last? Because that is the only personal pronoun that makes it a bit different. But just as easy. And the same structure. You say, for instance... I'm in Germany. Very simple. I'm in Germany. The I'm, you see here, is I am. The short form. You see, we like to abbreviate in English. I'm in Germany. I could also say I am in Germany, but I'm producing a drama, which is not a drama. I'm just simply saying I'm in Germany, right? So, the question, now this is a bit strange because, believe me, I never speak to my mirror, but just for you to understand, yeah? M, you see? I in Germany. <laughs> That's all there's to it. You know, you go crisscross just like with is or the are. You say, I am in Germany, question, am I in Germany? And then the negative, no, I'm not in In Germany. You see, very easy. I make the abbreviation on the I am, I am, and here you say the not. I'm not, no, I'm not in Germany, which is not true, but there you go. You see, the same structure with he, she, it, or with we, you, they, are. The I is a little exception, and I say, I am in Germany. Am I in Germany when I speak to my mirror only? And then, no, I am not in Germany. Now, guess how you would ask somebody else? With you. How do you say that? You, remember, is R. I simply ask, I'm asking you guys, 
Are you in Germany? Well, maybe one of some of you say yes, I am in Germany or yes, I am in Germany. But many of you probably will say no. I'm not in Germany. Or no, we are not in Germany. So you see the negative no we aren't in Germany. So, oh, any questions, Rafa? No, I think that's pretty clear. Okay, shall we try out with the guys? Yeah. Okay, so let me ask you. I'm starting with my first question. Are you in Germany? And the answer is, right, I'm not in Germany. Or, what else did I hear? Right, yes, I am in Germany. Very good. Mm -hmm. I can ask you. Are you an engineer? Right, yes, I am an engineer. And I think I heard, no, I'm not an engineer. Now I'm going to ask Rafa, watch this. Rafa? Yeah? Rafa, are you a musician? Yes, I am a musician. See, there you go. Rafa says, yes, I am a musician because Rafa is very proud and he should be because he's really good. So uh, you can listen to him in another video, but no, you can listen in our videos because he started, uh, he, he wrote the, the starting music. So you see, I can say Rafa is a good musician because it's a he. Let's go through that once more, Rafa, please, okay? Yeah. Rafa, are you an engineer? No, I'm not an engineer. Ah, you see, Rafa is, and I can say, nah, Rafa is not an engineer. He is not an engineer. But I can say, yes, Rafa is a musician and a real good one. So, yeah. Any more questions, Rafa? Are you an English teacher? <laughs> yes, I am an English teacher and I love it. <laughs> okay? All right. So, guys, that's all for now. Thank you for watching and make sure to come back next time with the open question. This is our next topic. And, uh, yeah, remember to like us and subscribe. See you next time. Thank you.